Hi guys! This week's theme is appearances and body image and how important it is to you. Obviously appearances are have some importance to me because I do makeup videos and I like dressing up and I like wearing makeup. I'm just gonna kind of repeat what Jess said just right off the bat that I like doing makeup and I like dressing the way that I do as a form of expressing myself, not necessarily because I feel like I need to for other people. Although I do like presenting myself well in public and professional situations because you're never really going to know who you're going to connect with and what impact that person is going to have on your life. My appearance and body image has gone through quite a roller coaster over my lifetime. The people that I made friends with in middle school, they were the nerds who liked anime and wore dorky t-shirts and didn't really give a shit about what other people thought. So I kind of adopted that idea at a young age. And then when I got to high school, I still kind of kept with that general idea that I didn't really care what other people thought. The one thing that I've been self-conscious about my entire life, like my whole life, has been my skin. Not necessarily my face. I have never really had a problem with acne, which I am so glad. For me, my skin has always been severely, severely dry. I was born with eczema and about until the age of three, I had eczema really, really bad. And then it went into remission until I was about 12. I have what you would call old lady hands. And I was really self-conscious of that when I was hitting puberty and in middle school and in the early stages of high school because it was just it just wasn't fun because I always had to wear lotion when I went to bed like I saw the dermatologist once a week or more by the time junior year came along I got self-conscious about my weight because like some of my best friends were a lot skinnier than me and I was just at that age where you're gonna be self-conscious about your weight and then there was that that point when I got sick and when I got sick, I mean, I got really sick. Junior year, I was tired all of the time. I was cold all the time. I would come home from school, eat like a, a meal, and then take a nap and cover myself up with a blanket on the couch and take a nap for an hour and a half every day. And then I started losing weight for no reason. And at that point I was like, cool, losing weight, awesome. And like my mom was like, well, I was about 17 when I started losing weight, so maybe it's just genetic. Cool, awesome. The summer before senior year, I lost 20 pounds for no reason. And when my mom and my sister and my my family went camping that summer, I couldn't lift myself up to the top bunk. And that is when we knew there was something seriously wrong. So over that summer, my muscle mass completely like disappeared. And I was losing a layer of skin a day on my legs. It was just flaking off. Like my skin layer by layer was dying. We didn't know how severe my muscles were dying as well. So in all of this, I was losing weight and it was this weird, weird fucked up body image that I had with myself. I didn't feel sick. I was skinny and I felt good about myself, but I was going to the doctor all the time. So there was clearly something wrong. Like my pediatrician was literally at a loss for words. His only way of dealing with this was getting my blood drawn once a week so we could track what was happening to my body. 2006, we finally went to the hospital and I was there for nine days and we got all sorts of tests done and they injected me with all sorts of shit and I got some biopsies done. It was crazy. They diagnosed me with dermatomyositis, which basically means inflammation of the muscles in the skin. My immune system was killing my skin cells and killing my muscles like they were infected. My immune system was killing my body. And so when I felt the best about myself in terms of weight and in terms of how I looked, I was really, really sick. So it had this just weird effect on my body image because after that I got on all my meds and I started getting better but I puffed up like a balloon because I was on prednisone. A huge dose of prednisone. I didn't look like myself but I felt better. I was gaining all the weight back and then some and so I was heavy for several years after that. Like I, I'm, I'm better now. I'm pretty sure I'm in remission. I'm on very, very low doses of my medications. I'm completely off prednisone. And now I'm at the point where I'm completely happy with my body. I'm completely happy with my appearance and I like who I am. And I don't wanna make it seem like that I needed a man to help uh, reinforce that. But I think having a boyfriend who loves me and who I love and who is not vain and not materialistic and 
has made me feel good about myself in my body and just as a person. And sure, while I like to lose a couple of pounds here and there and I wish my skin on my hands and my feet weren't as red and flaky and itchy and dry, I've gotten to the point where I'm really, really content with my appearance and my body and my image because I'm not dying. <laughs> when I got sick and when I was so at risk, that changed my motives in looking good and feeling good. Because I knew that certain things were more important. The heart is a muscle and my immune system had just gotten to my external muscles. I could not lift my head up off of my bed and that's really scary. So while appearance is important to me because I like putting my best foot forward in all instances because I don't know who I'm gonna meet and I don't know who I'm gonna run into, staying healthy is, is my driving goal because I know how close I was to a dire situation. And that was a really rambly video and I apologize. I feel like there was a lot to say because I've had a really messed up body image my whole life. That was entirely too intense. Leave questions for advice week next week. So yeah, do that. Bye.